With a population of just over 8 million people, Tokyo is one of the most crowded cities in the world, but it's also one of the easiest to get around. Join me today as we take the Yamanote line around the city and I show you some of the best attractions Tokyo has to offer. Our journey starts at Tokyo Station, and from there we will travel to the famous electronic district at Akihabara. We will visit the historic part of Tokyo at Ueno and Nippori Station before making our way to see the skyscrapers of Shinjuku. We'll do some shopping and see the latest fashion trends at Harajuku before finishing our journey at the famous Shibuya Crossing. So here I am at Tokyo Station, which was recently restored to its original 1914 appearance. I'm gonna go buy my Tokunai Pass, which is the all-day rail pass we'll be using today. Come with me. So you wanna buy your all-day ticket from this machine here. You click the English button, and then click Discount Ticket, and you'll see a button that says Tokunai Pass. This, I don't know actually what it means, but it's the all-day pass. So Tokunai Pass, put your money in, and I'm all set. This is Akihabara, home to electronics and otaku culture. If you're into anime or manga, this is where you want to come. One attraction that is unique to Akihabara are the maid cafes where Japanese girls dress in French-made outfits and treat you like the lord of the house. Customers can play board games, enjoy some snacks, or even practice your Japanese with these friendly girls. One of the best things about taking the Yamanote line is many of these signs are in English. This display shows you which stations you're going to and even shows you the actual minutes between stations. Just on the other side of Ueno Station lies Ueno Park, home to many famous museums and the Cherry Blossom Festival that is held every spring. Ueno Park is a great place to relax for lunch with the family. If you're a bargain hunter, then you definitely want to check out Ame Yokocho Street near Ueno Station. This is a famous street jam-packed with all sorts of stores selling everything from fashion items to food to art. Let's go check it out. Just two stops past Ueno Station is Nippori Station, home of one of Tokyo's greatest old world secrets. Yanaka is a historical area of Tokyo that still thrives amongst this modern city. If you ever just want to wander and get lost in Tokyo, then the Yanaka Ginza behind Nippori Station is a great place to start. It's a cozy neighborhood with dozens of well-preserved temples and shops selling traditional foods and crafts. Every day over three and a half million people travel through this station. With over 35 platforms and 200 exits, Shinjuku Station is one of the busiest train stations in the world. I'm here to see the skyscrapers, let's go outside. Shinjuku Station is one of the busiest train stations in the world and you would think that a station with over 200 exits would be easy to get out of, but it is notorious for swallowing up foreigners who are never seen again.
So here we are, I finally found it. This is the exit to the skyscraper area. Let's go outside and take a look. Sometimes called a city within a city, Shinjuku is home to many of Tokyo's tallest skyscrapers, including the Tokyo City Hall building, which was built during the height of Japan's economic bubble in the early 1990s. Here I am at Takeshita Dori, birthplace of many Japanese fashion trends. Pay close attention to what the kids are wearing here because you might see the same fashion trends on your teenagers next year. Let's go take a look. Harajuku is teenage fashion to the extreme. It's a great place to check out the other styles and also show off your own. If you come to Harajuku, you have to visit Angel Hearts. These are some of the best tasting crepes you'll ever try. Escucha. <laughs> We finish our trip at Tokyo's most famous crossing. Shibuya represents the fast-paced life and energy of the city. But there's so much more to see here. I hope one day you can check it out for yourself. I'm Anthony Joe from Gaijin Pot, and see you in the next video.